I saw the clouds for more than a day. It rained and rained, miles upon miles, and many miles for many days. Both near and far away, and before her story had ended, left miles and miles of floods and the breath of her wake. We asked to be treated light, begged when you refused to go away. You stayed, held up by bottlenecks of resistance in the soil below your old cranky feet. The land, oh precious land, our heart and our joy. You took what you could in the face of this, but we fought you anyway. You chose to give the rest to our households and took all we owned away. What a pity. We had enough water to help our bats. We even shared her company at times most pleasantly when our souls grew warm and thirsty. Now, our hearts just wish you'd go away. Is there not an ocean for you to attend to? Some place far away, floodwaters, murky and deep. You've turned our land into a wasteland of all the waste made of our hands. The damage here is done, but yet you smile at us. You know, we all live day by day. Will you send mercy our way today? I heard the little girl with beaming tender eyes call you ask with a tear as if she hoped the heavens would blush to her outstretched tiny hands. Aww. No sooner had she resigned from hope, a reply from heaven came. <laughs> I did it for the flowers and the trees, little one. But you are neither of these, she proudly laughed, while she stealthily kept the strength of the sun rays behind the blanket of her cloud. Though we feel the light, the warmth is gone. But the pride and kindness of our people yet makes us strong. Some lost it all, some lost a little. One old lady held her little white, non biodegradable, half empty bag with her feeble, pale brown hand. This is all I have left, she grimaced, in a way almost too affecting. Aww. Some had nowhere else to go, so they slept on their rooftops. <laughs> While they smiled at what is threatening below, others sat and they waited with mouths stretched out in the distance. Terry eyed but hopeful of a coming pleasant day. <laughs> <laughs>